Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we are playing an episode of Made in Japan, and it's for a game called Song of Memories. So, what I know about this game is that it is an animated visual novel. It's coming out in Japan soon. It was announced back in like 2015, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to be seen or said about it whenever we'll jump in. But as always, uh, the caveat with this is that it's a Japanese game. I'm not going to have any idea what anybody's saying, but there's a lot of boobs. Look at the boobs. The boobs everywhere. So yeah, uh, Song of Memories, I'm assuming, is a visual novel that's not a rogue, but kind of a bit of cheesecake. Song of Memories! B! So I'm assuming the characters are all fully voiced in this. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you actually have a lot to say here, kids, but um, I'm not too sure what's going on here. So, assuming these are all the main characters of the plot. Uh, these are the names. So who we got? Kanon, Fuka, Akira, Yuno, Satsuki, Natsume, Misaki, Sukasa, Azumi, Karen, Riko, and Makoto. I hope to actually have a really good time chatting to you all very shortly. But that's actually a pretty good menu screen. Um, I've always expected uh, these kind of like visual novels to have very simplified menus down, like pretty much volume controls, and that's about it. But uh, yeah, well, if they actually put all their CG menus and everything into the one spot, it makes a lot more sense. So, let's jump in and have we start here and see what we got. Song of Memories. Okay. I'm assuming it's just selection of dialogue choices that it's trying to explain here. Yeah. Oh, everything on, on. Defaults uh, on family names and characters. Everything else on. Yeah, I think everything should be okay. I'm expecting a decent CG intro here. That's the only thing I'm curious about. Nope. <laughs> Straight into the plot thread instead. Oh, I'm disappointed. That's a little bit different. Normally I'm expecting whenever I watch these uh, visual novels is that they actually have a very uh, stiff characters that are actually just like only change whenever there's an emotion change or anything else but they have a basic flowy movement and uh, facial changes so there is a bit of a 2D animation to the actual characters which um, is a bit of a boing squish kind of like flash animation style but it makes these kind of stories work a little bit better. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are essentially just chatting about how you find girls attractive. I, I don't know, is, is, are you, do you actually play as a female character in this? So it's actually boys that are chasing after you? I don't know. We'll find out more in a very short period of time, I'm sure. Uh, I could let them all react. And the first female character has been introduced. So the big thing is about visual novels. Uh, there's obviously a lot of plot. And Whoa, that's... I'm assuming this must be our acrobatics uniform of some sort. Fair play. Uh, good look. Good look for you. But they, uh, and they're obviously sitting in the gym. But the uh, main thing with these visual novels, Jesus Christ, I'm just realizing they buy the bother for boot physics in this over anything else. Um, the basic character animations obviously look a little bit stiff, but they are a bit more expressive. So it does feel like it's actually like three people talking in a circle more than it actually would have been where people just seem to slide in, slide out. And actually just have like a single facial gesture for a long period of time. Which, in the end, could make stories like, I uh, suppose, ones that I really enjoy, like Steins Gate or Root Letter, a little bit more, I don't know, maybe more engaging would be the way to describe it. To where they actually, um, you feel like you're actually getting something from the character rather than actually just a, <gasps> a freeze frame while they actually are like reacting for a period of time about someone. The game art style is nice and smooth. It's crisp. It's a it's a visual novel. I mean, the, the, obviously that's what we expect out of these games. They're pretty much exactly Senpai. what we expect. Uh, come on. All right, let's see. Is there actually a speed? Uh, there's auto there, but I'm going to have to actually start skipping here. So uh, obviously we're running through skipping-wise just to see what character we're introduced to, see if there actually is uh, any interesting 
character moments to explain or someone that we can see an interaction with. What I really want to see whenever I see these uh, visual novel games, especially in the trailers, is if they have something of a CG movie to kind of pull me in at the very beginning. I think AO Kana actually did a pretty good job of that, even though it was m very traditional kind of uh, CG intro or very traditional um, visual novel. Mm. Interesting style. It's like one of those things where it's like an um, ambitious way to actually kind of put a bit of movement into the character. Like, this looks cool. So, what would have been in, uh, in the past, like a, a typical small, simple, short CG scene where it's like literally one or two images. Um, those little bits of character animation work well for this. Although, admittedly, it does remind me a lot of the really, well, the, not really creepy, but the, the fairly creepy kind of like hentai. Oh, we do get an intro. Might as well sit back and enjoy this a little bit. I'm not that intrigued by this theme tune, but there seems to be a lot of music in this. <laughs> oh, we have to apply at least one of those in there, don't we? It does definitely, like, it's, oh wow, it's actually, like, there's a fair amount of uh, cheesecake in this intro, even onto itself, so it knows where it's selling its market anyway. It does really feel that it's actually, it's, it, it just feels that this is an anime intro more than it actually is a visual novel intro because I can see the bits that are actually going to be the in-game and just with that extra bit of movement, it's like, or it's probably left us straight from cutscenes of the game so far. I'm actually, like, I'd actually sit and play through this, even though, even though all it is is pretty much one of those traditional kind of harem or uh, girls falling in love visual novel stories, Song of Memories actually looks pretty charming to me so far, even with its cheesecake, and I'm really getting back into my visual novels because of things like Steins Gate and Report Letter and uh, other games that have actually been pretty widespread, like, as, pretty, as, as mainstream as visual novels really get, but, uh, yeah, I could actually sit and treat myself with this. Oh, of course, we've got our characters here. So, the one thing with uh, demos of... Okay. Yeah, I'm the hentai. You're the one sitting on my lap while I'm in bed. And that is not a body pillow, I swear. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's making a point of actually starting off fairly early on with a... A little bit of uh, itchiness, but, um, well, <laughs> I imagine it's uh, it's not... I don't know if this is going to be, like, prevalent. I, this is the kind of thing that would probably get a little bit of a truncation or a reduction if it actually made it across here. I mean, the one thing we've always got to assume is that P-Cube have already probably signed this up to their <laughs> label like, for Ruby Publishing within the United States and uh, Europe. So, with a game being as it is, like, literally just a, tr a text translation game, they've got that's all they have to do in this to kind of, like, 
localize it, then um, I wouldn't be surprised if this... Oh, oh, wow, whoops. <laughs> and you actually even make choices as you go along here already so quickly. Um, I don't know why I well, picked the athletics girl. She seemed to be quite charming and sweet. Meanwhile, the other one was a bit kind of um, cold, probably the best way to describe it, but not, no, not in a negative way, just, you know, some people's just uh, not as very, very, not as easy as actually being upbeat and happy with people. They kind of like may put up little walls between themselves. All right, back to a medical room. Oh yes, the girl that was actually unwell at the very beginning. So, with the introduction of like four or five characters already so far, I like the designs of the characters. Actually, I like the girl on our the girl on the left here. I actually like her the least design wise, just because of the hair and head shape. I think it's just because the head shapes are all very very similar, and then her hair just doesn't seem to actually sit as well. It's the bald headed on myself. I'm saying, like, if I took that wig and put it on here, it wouldn't look that good, would it? I like the wee eye lines and changes. I think this is actually... Oh, good grief already. I'm liking this. Uh, Songs of Memories actually has has my attention now. I'm going to be looking to see if this gets... Uh, damn it, <laughs> I did it again. Gets a European release anytime soon. So um, I, this might be all I'm going to be playing because you're getting an idea of what the game look and, of course, game style. It's just branching storyline. It's a traditional visual novel, but with its kind of it makes its change by being visually different. It actually it's done it's done something that actually brings a little bit more life to these drawn out stories that sometimes have to depend on very very solid writing or. Uh, depend on its like expectation of getting to the porny bits but this actually just looks interesting because the characters are alive it's as animatic as animation as can get for a visual novel and i could see this being a standard for future games if it isn't already a standard <laughs> right let's just assume that everything is going well in these conversations because i think i may be just a little bit done with this for a episode of Made in Japan. Obviously, you can look it up for yourself. Uh, Songs of Memories is available in Japan as a demo at the moment. You're seeing a lot of the content of what is in it right now from me. But obviously, keep an eye out for future announcements from P-Cube or other suppliers of visual novel entertainment. Because they will actually be able to tell you when this game be in your grubby little hands as a Westerner that can't read any Japanese. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has actually been an episode of Made in Japan. If you enjoyed just looking through the very beginnings of a game with me here on the channel, you can, of course, always hit the subscribe button way up there. Or the follow button. Or whatever other button is required for you to actually be able to see this stuff on a regular basis through notifications. And if you don't want to do that and you just want to find other things made by me, all you have to do is just Google Passage of Skin. It's written right there. A few of the places I actually am available are all dotted across the top of that. Now, if you actually just go and look it up, you can easily find me. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. I want you to see the stuff that I'm making, so check it out. Now, if you're also watching this on YouTube, there will be a little bit extra at the very end here where you can pick a little button right there. They'll actually be in other videos that are in the Made in Japan series, or over there on the far side, which will be one of the most recent videos that I've actually made, or right over here, like this one over the far side, which will be chosen specifically for you from the YouTube analytics. It will actually go through whatever you've watched previously, if you're allowed to, and it will pick a video based on your viewing to actually increase your viewing pleasure. So I recommend you click that one. That one is actually the one that's made for you to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.